Well, hey, we're out here at Dallas Love Field, and I ran into one of my super fans. Got him in the right seat here. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Aiden. Okay, I got Aiden in the right seat. Have you watched every one of my videos? Most, yeah. Most of them? Some of them are kind of long, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. So, you were saying you like my videos. You like who else? Who else do you like? Steve-O, Trip Palmer. Nice. Baron Pilot. Citation Max? Yep. Yep. Cool. All right, so Aiden, when you grow up, you would like to do what for a living? I'd like to be a pilot. would like to be a pilot. And so your dad's a pilot also, right? Yep. Yep, your dad and I met out here on the ramp one day. He came out and said hi. So anyway, so we surprised Aiden with a little visit today. And uh, as you heard, Aiden would like to grow up to be a pilot. Aiden, man, thanks for coming along, buddy. Appreciate it. It's good meeting you. You too. Well, that was a lot of fun meeting Aiden. And I know that there's a lot of aspiring pilots out there who watch my videos. For those of you who want to learn how to become a pilot, I want you to watch the uh, middle of this video where I interview Alex as we fly back to Indianapolis. I'm a former Air Force pilot with over 1,000 hours in the F-16. Today I run a medical equipment business and use my private jet to visit customers or travel with my family and friends. I video some of those flights and share them here. My name is Greg and this is my YouTube channel. Okay, what's the ATIS? ATIS is 2408, gust 14, 10 miles of visibility, view scatter 25,000, temperature 392980 on the altimeter, and uh, information Victor. Okay. So, are you familiar with PDC? Yes, a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to call ground. And we're going to tell them we've got the uh, information and we're ready uh, to taxi. Okay. So we're here at gate four. We're ready for push with Tango. So there's 2017 love ground. Push your discretion. Information uniform is current. And which one are you set up for? Uh, we'll pick up uniform and we're set up for one three left for 2017. Okay, so you can call and, and uh, tell them we're ready to taxi. And it's probably going to, here, let me get the chart called up so you can see it. <clears throat> what they're probably going to do. Early Lima? Yes. Good now. Okay. Ground for 420 taxi at gate 8 uniform. So this 420, running 13 left taxi via Bravo. 13 left via Bravo, yes ma'am, southwest 420. Ground, good afternoon from Air 390 Golf Mike. We've got uh, the weather and ready to taxi. And we're at uh, Techstar. Premier 390 Golf Mike Love Ground, thank you. Running 13 right, taxi via Charlie 6 Lima. And verify you have information uniform. Okay, Charlie 6 Lima, we got information uh, uniform to runway 13 right for 390 Golf Mike. Yep. You bailed yourself out. I did. <laughs> Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah, taxi, uniform, tech star. Like departure frequency is 855. 855 should be. Okay, let's go ahead and take off. Next, let's go ahead and send those back over. Eight thousand feet. You can go ahead. There you go. And you don't need to call them. Okay. They'll tell you our nav door set is what they'll tell you when it's when you're ready for takeoff. Okay. Or when when they clear you for takeoff. Okay. Well. Premier three nine zero golf Mike Love Tower nav door set running one three right clear for takeoff. One three right our nav door set clear for takeoff. Premier three nine zero golf Mike. I was just, just, just going to do an intro, but we're going to have to do an intro on the climb out. <laughs> We've got too much going on. Tower, Hawker 800, Julian, Mike, inbound, 13 left. 
Okay, this is Joey Mike left tire final of the Challenger two mile final wind two three zero going one. It left, happens quick. Five. One three left clear to land. Clear on that one side. Clear to land. Thank Joey you. Mike look for the Challenger on the visual. One three left. This is Southwest headquarters all over there. They've got a, some big buildings, a couple big hangars. Baggy. Hey, we ready, Southwest 420. So 420 left tower, Roger. Your seven hotel papa, turn left alpha one, taxi alpha park, this frequency. Did you feel it settle as the uh, flaps came up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I think I've actually felt that. Look how hot it is. Yeah. Warm day. So you're going to tell them out of 1200 or whatever, climbing via the departure. Okay. Or climbing via the sit. The uh, after takeoff. Clearance is at Jet 418. Jet 418, 127.9 uh, for clearance. All right, sorry about that. Flying pretty much right over my daughter's apartment. Got to be the change over here. I usually don't take this. Zero so golf mic, contact regional departure. Departure, good day, 390 golf mic. Regional departure, good afternoon, Premier 390 golf mic, 3.4, climbing via this hit. Number zero golf mic, I maintain at 9,000, turn left heading 050. 050, climb maintain 9,000, uh, zero golf mic. American 2356, departure at our contact. Delta 483, climb maintain 17,000. 17,000, Delta 483. That was the, yeah, that'll probably give us direct to Zerlu at some point. Well, everybody, welcome aboard. That was a uh, 2256, 2.2 for pretty quick uh, start up to uh, into the runway. Nice being close there. Happens pretty quickly because we're so close. Now, there was not much traffic uh, at the moment. But in the right seat, I've got Alex. So Alex flew with us. Number zero, Golf Mike, seat direct Zerlu, climb maintain one zero ten thousand. Okay, direct Zerlu, one zero ten thousand for uh, Zero Golf Mike. Delta 483, contact forward center on one two six point five seven. People always say, why, why do you talk when the controllers are talking? <laughs> <laughs> Usually when you try to talk, they'll talk right back. Absolutely. American 2356, turn left heading 100. So Alex flew with us uh, four years ago out to uh, Roswell, New Mexico, and uh, oh, we've got a wrong point in there. Okay, SP's discretion at 10. Get rid of this. Hello, departure, runway 3504, sound at 1,800 via the March 2. Runway 3504, departure, oh, that was. Okay. So Alex flew with us about four years ago out to New Mexico at that time. Did you have your private pilot's license at that uh, time? I did not, no. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. 754 traffic, 1 o'clock, 8 miles northwest. We're going to get up and cruise. One, 1 thousand, a regional jet. Oh, we're looking here, something. We're going to turn the cameras on. We're going to talk to Alex. And he's going to fill you guys in on those of you who want to potentially become a pilot. We're going to talk about Alex's path, what he's been doing so far and then how that might uh, play into your plan. So, stick around for the in-cruise part. And hopefully the controllers will stop talking. Yeah. 2977, thanks, 519, Tango X-ray. One to go. Definitely a hot one. Yeah, for sure.
Number zero, Golf Mike, climb 18, 17,000. 17,000, 390, Golf Mike. Razor Park, American 2844 with you, 2.2 uh, RNF track. American 2844, departure, our contact. So I just switched it over to flight level change, 240 knots, so the airplane will pitch up to 240 knots, it'll hold that airspeed in a climb up to 17,000 feet. I get a lot, asked a lot of times about auto throttles, this aircraft does not, uh, does not have auto throttles. Envoy 3441, departure at our contact. I think the Eclipse and maybe the Pilatus PC-24 have auto throttles. Climbing smaller aircraft really don't have them. I think the new Cirrus Vision jet, the Generation uh, 2, has the okay. auto throttle too. It may have. That may be the case. Although that's an auto throttle, it's just one engine. <laughs> Number 8, Golf Mike, or 0, Golf Mike, contact center now, 126.57. 26.57, have a great day, 0, Golf Mike. Air Shuttle 5754, 4, center climbing team, follow 2, 9 or 0. Climbing team, play level 2, 9 or 0, Air Shuttle 5754. Center, good afternoon, we're Mariner 390, Golf Mike 14.5 for 17,000. America 371, we're at a 16 to 17,000. Okay, two aircraft check on, America 371, 4, center, climb 18, follow 350. Alright, climb 350, American uh, 371. Mariner 390, Golf Mike 4, climb 18, follow 410. 410, thank you sir, Zero Golf Mike. Did I miss somebody else? I was wanting to get us some barbecue. Nine five Delta, contact Longview Pro. Sorry, one, ran two, out eight of time. Oh, that's okay. Five, that is one. Turn ten degrees left. Vector for traffic. Ten left. Jet edge one. Is there any cool airplanes that came while I was there? None. Just the uh, Falcon that left. As you were leaving. Falcon two thousand. Yes. Pretty quiet. I guess being a weekend too, but. Man, look at that. See those storms all the way out there. Oh yeah. Those are That was a big line. Jeez. That is How many miles? America eleven zero five, climb eighteen fall three seven zero. Seventy miles. Climb of eighteen, fly level three seven zero, American eleven oh five. You can see it so clearly. You ever landed a premier? I have. A couple times. How'd you do? Um, last time I flew, I uh, had a pretty good one back in executive. Four with Sarah throws, 216, 5,500. But, uh, not all of them have been pretty. 216, <laughs> Without the trailing link landing gear, there could be some... Airplane 3504, 12.7 for 17,000. Uh, coming out of the Phenom a little bit. That's got the trailing link. And and hard to have a bad landing. Up to 100, airplane 3504. But, uh, and the Premier a little stiffer. Got to work for it. I think Purdue got rid of that aircraft, didn't they? They did, yes. It uh, went up for auction. I think, Delta 9, well, it might have been about a month ago now, a couple weeks ago. And uh, not so we'll sure who got their hands on it, but I think the, the sim that we had with it might have been part of the package. Why did they get rid of it, you know? Um, they wanted to focus on um, kind of transitioning from kind of the turbine time to more of their sim department. So we have now a full motion Hawker 900 XP sim, and we have a uh, non-full motion 737 and A320 sim. Oh, wow. And being kind of some of our professors are very close with some of our uh, regional and airline partners with the university. And a lot of a lot of things that they're seeing is they like to see a lot of the kind of the, the CRM or the crew, crew resource management and the ability for students to kind of be able to work together, whether you're in the right seat or the left seat or swapped um, and kind of get down procedures. So not so much of the flight time, but kind of the things you're going to be seeing right away once you're in the airlines. That's kind of the direction they decided to take. And, um, Okay, uh, normal speed out of 200 on our way up to, uh, actually, uh, can we stop it at 37? We're going to be a little heavy for 39. 44 no problem. Mid altitude, mid fall 370, leaving fall 200, resume normal speed. All right, uh, climb maintain 370, normal speed out of 20. The big storm out there. That really is. Seems to. As we even get higher, seems to even appear to be larger. Delta 483, contact forward center, 135.55. 3555, five, 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 Delta 483. Delta 
930, contact four center, one three five. Well, we took off here from uh, Dallas. Five, 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 Delta nine thirty. Headed up to Little Rock. You can see we got quite a bit of convective activity through here. But we're going to keep an eye on that. Right now, our current route works out just fine, but I'm also concerned about okay, 754, these things four, center, here. 132.27. 132.27. We're closer to our destination, so. Center on board. You don't want to fly through that stuff. Envoy 3353, center on I think I'd rather show up to an Antifa march with a MAGA flag than fly through that storm. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Center American 1105. Yeah, I'd like to maintain present heading after Zach for the weather right, up ahead. We'll Camera's off. American 1105. So I'm, I guarantee you that as soon as I start talking, or as soon as you start talking, the controller's gonna chime in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, while we're working our way around the storm, wanted to chat with Alex a little bit. So uh, Alex, are, as we call him back home, the redhead that threw the power cord on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> took some heat for you that took one. Some you took a beating on YouTube over, uh, <laughs> over that. That was pretty funny. You yes, threw the GPU cord on the ground and broke my airplane. Breaking 25, 79. So they say. So they say. <laughs> if it's on the internet, it's got to be true. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, Alex, um, I won't take away all, all your thunder, but Alex is a senior at uh, Purdue University going through their aviation program. So when you flew with me first time about four years ago, did you have your private at that time? I did not, no. Okay, uh, so you came into college as a blank slate. Correct. Fresh, okay. zero hours. And so what was, tell me going through school, what that path is and where you are today. So for me, um, getting to uh, have the opportunity to fly with you, I think that was back in 2016 or 2017, yeah. the freshman, the summer before my freshman year. Um, and really knew nothing about airplanes. I know when I hopped up here in the cockpit, I hardly knew what anything was. I could press the radio button and 
put in a few numbers, but yep. that's about it. Um, so I went my freshman year, got my private pilot's license in December of that year. Uh, then the following semester, I did my commercial work, two okay. commercial classes. And then we kind of hold off on that and go and get my instrument rating. Okay. Um, and then we come back to the commercial stuff and transition from what was the Cirrus um, to the Aero for the complex endorsement. Okay. Um, and now so you the Aero is going to have retractable gear and a, a constant speed prop. Correct. Correct. Yep. And now you don't need that for commercial license, but when I was going through, you still did. Okay. Um, and so I did it through the Aero and got my commercial, um, and then following semester, um, my end of my sophomore year, I got my multi-engine rating. Okay. Uh, what, by the way, what aircraft did you do that? I in? did that in the Piper Seminole. So a little, uh, little low on the horsepower there. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Um, it was a, it was a fun time. Probably one of my funnest courses, flying courses, to yeah. get a rating. Actually, feel like you're flying a legit plane with oh. a couple engines, right, and right, multiple systems. I think, I think uh, one of the best moments in my flying career is the first time we shut off an engine. And just to see it hanging out there while the other one's still going, <laughs> kind of a neat, neat thing. Yeah, referencing shutting an engine off in flight. In flight, for training purposes. Yes. Yeah. Not, okay. Not just for fun. <laughs> yeah. So great. So today, commercial, multi instrument. Correct. Senior at Purdue. Working on what rating next? A CFI is the okay. next. I've started looking over some of the ground school and some of the COVID has pushed some stuff back um, at this point, but um, can uh, never, never too uh, late to start on the ground school portion okay. or too early. So then when you graduate in May, your plans, your, your ideal scenario would be? Probably, hopefully by then instructing, uh, maybe back at executive if there okay. would be an opening at that time. Yep. Uh, or maybe even for Purdue, stay up there for a year after. Um, even pursue maybe a master's degree, um, which would keep me there a year later, which would probably still need for yeah, to be getting flight time. Right, yep. um, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens, and then hopefully continue to build that time, and maybe by then in the next year or so, the airlines will be better. Um, or even my interest in corporate, continuing on doing some stuff in corporate as well. Okay. Good. Good. So the sky's the limit. It is. So getting back to now, if you were an instructor, at uh, back home at India Exec, for instance, uh, I get a lot of questions from people wanting to figure out how to take flying lessons. Right. You know, like how do I become a pilot? Right. So, if we, you obviously went the college route, but for the other people out there that that's not an option, what? How would you suggest that they get their first look at? learning how to fly and right. what that process is. I, I always recommend to people who are interested in flying is to take a discovery flight initially, go up. Um, I know at our home airport and a lot of airports with a flight flight training school allow you to take a 30 minute or even hour discovery flight where yep. you are sitting in the left seat, there's an instructor with you in the right seat. You go up um, and they let you fly. They'll show you, you know, some maneuvers, kind of basic flying, um, kind of what all the, the avionics and some of the, the gauges do, introduce you to you know, how an airplane reacts versus, yep. you know, driving a car, you got that third dimension of flight up in there. Uh, and then if you like that from there, go on, explore it, start taking lessons, you know, get a log book, find an instructor that you like. I can't stress that enough. Um, you're paying this money to get this, this, this private pilot's license, this rating, find an instructor that you will work with. And don't yep. be afraid that if there's an instructor you don't work with well, don't be afraid to switch. Oh, nice. So I, I really you're going to spend that. a lot of time with that person. Right. In close right. quarters. Exactly. <laughs> uh, even closer than we are. So yeah. if it's something, if, if you guys, your personalities don't mix or match, not a big deal. You know, just, hey, I would like to find a better instructor and or someone that you would work better with. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really a big thing. And then from, from start to finish, uh -huh. the private pilot portion, if they just want to get their private pilot's rating, start there. Um, Hour-wise, is it still 40 hours minimum? Yes, I think that's a minimum. Yep. And I think, you know, some people are right near that 40, 45, and some people take closer to 55 or 60. Okay. Uh, and it's not really a big deal. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. And, you know, some people pick up some areas quicker than others yep. and vice versa. And along the way, prior to uh, soloing, you need an FAA physical. Correct. Okay. Right you have a medical exam. About, uh, and then you also have a written test that you'll have to uh, pass prior to taking your private Correct. check. Correct. Correct. That's a, that's a ground portion. So as well as the flying portion, you'll need to study up on the ground information. And your instructor will help you with that and prepare you for the ground knowledge as well. Because it's just not about the flying. There's a lot of other information that you need to know as well, such as airspace and 
Weather. Yeah, weather is a big one. Like the stuff we're yeah. working around right now. Here, let's just take a break for a second. Pretty massive. I mean, look at that. That is nasty, folks. Some high tops today. Yeah, so you, we're, we're kind of working our way around the weather at the moment on our way back to uh, Indianapolis. So awesome, Alex. Well, that's a great explanation, and uh, I wish you uh, much success. And Oh, hey, I got a question for you. Yes. So sit in right seat in the jet. This is not the first time you've been up with me, but it's also not the first time you've been up in a Premier, several Premiers on our field that you've flown right seat in. Uh, you've flown in the Phenom 100 back at school, as we kind of talked about on the climb out back there. So, you know, a lot of people message me and say, hey, is your right seat open? And, and you know, I'm a little bit reluctant because I kind of like to know who you are and those right. kind of things. So, right. so explain to me, or explain to the viewers, how you've managed to get yourself in the right seat, in your view, of uh, several other jets and probably will have many more opportunities available to you. Well, for me, um, it all started working as a, a grounds crew at the Indianapolis Executive Airport. So back in high school, I started out just mowing the yard, weed whacking along the fences, spraying, a lot of manual, a lot of hot work. Um, but I knew, you know, it was something, I was around airplanes, I was around pilots, and that's the path I wanted to take. Um, and so each summer I worked there, I got introduced to more and more opportunities. Um, so the next following summer, uh, I began to work as a line technician, so working around the airplanes, uh, fueling airplanes, towing airplanes, marshalling in airplanes, um, and really each year I progressed at the airport and started meeting other pilots out there and um, got to know kind of the base customers and some of the companies that would come in there quite yeah. frequently, which is a big thing. And just after that, meeting people, they would ask me, you know, how my ratings are coming. Yep. And I said, oh, I just got my instrument and commercials next. And a lot of these, a lot of these, these pilots I would meet, they'd say, hey, American we, uh, uh, we have an opportunity to uh, fly as an SIC, as a second in command, yep. uh, but you need to have your commercial and your commercial multi. Um, and for American me, that was something like that it really strove me to work hard to finish my commercial and be the best pilot I could be, and then to get my commercial multi, because um, they American would send me a text and say, hey, you know, once you have these ratings, let me know, right and uh, yeah. I'll call you for trips. And that's kind of yeah. how it happened. Yeah, and that's awesome. So once that kind of progressed, uh, I was able to start doing trips, and after I got American my multi, uh, it wasn't a couple weeks later that I started doing trips, and I've been doing that since uh, early uh, 2019. So it's been a great experience to kind of see the, the corporate world um, and have a chance to fly a lot higher and a lot faster into some of the world's busiest airports. So some good experience there for sure. Yeah, and he's, I mean, really good exposure. Right. To uh, how the real world works. And uh, number 300, zero, go. There we go. Contact Memphis Center, 133.12. 33.12, you have a great day, Zero Golf Mike. You too, thanks. Uh, go back on course. Uh, actually, you can deviate now uh, for Nashville. Okay, uh, deviate now and uh, direct Nashville for assistant 241. Exit to 241, affirmative and climb, maintain follow 39. Actually, I told you got multiple traffic at 38 and 39, so 37 for now. You can deviate as much as you need when able to direct Nashville. Okay, deviate as near necessary, direct Nashville when able. Center, good afternoon, Premier 390, Golf Mike 410, uh, a little bit of right of course for now, deviations. Premier 390, Golf Mike, Memphis Center, Roger. Southwest 10, contact Memphis Center. On one All right, well, you're doing a great job. You've obviously come a long way. I actually let you set the FMS up and handling the radios, doing a great job. Thank you, appreciate and, uh, it. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to having you on again. Thank you. Go from there. So, nicely done. On a zero golf mic, there is moderate to extreme precipitation at 12 o'clock, about 60 miles, yeah. about 40 miles in diameter. Aircraft has elected, so. Uh, well, at 41, you can go either left or right, but uh, most aircraft have elected to go left. Uh, they've been at lower altitude. 390 golf, Mike, you can probably tell, but we are uh, kind of heading to the left of that. We've got it in sight. Thank you. Sure, though, Mike, right? Memphis Center, good afternoon. Premier 390 golf, Mike, 410. Premier 390 golf, Mike, Memphis Center. Roger, I do show area of moderate to extreme precipitation, 11 o'clock and 25 miles. And then at uh, 12 o'clock, moderate precipitation. 1 o'clock, it's uh, moderate to extreme as well. And the line is about 20 miles in diameter. South to report around by level uh, 390. Okay, Roger, uh, we're going to deviate around the left here for Ezra Golf Mike.
that is the way you work yourself around a line of thunderstorms. MF is Palmer 390 Golf Mike, we're direct pocket city. Roger, thank you. Where's the golf mic? Contact approach 124.95. 2495, you have a great day, Zero Golf Mike. Any approach, good afternoon from Air 390 Golf Mike, 9.6 descending 7,000. From Air 390 Golf Mike, any approach, good afternoon, descend to maintain 5,000. 5,000, Zero Golf Mike. Indianapolis departure, lost to 501, 1,900 to 501, departure out of contact, climb maintain, 1, 3,000. 1, 3,000, lost to 501. Nice view. Nice view of International, downtown. It is, very nice. Speedway over there. Lost to 501, Eagle Creek. Right to Raceway Park. All right, direct to... Uh, All the highlights. Terre Haute, Terre Haute lost to 501. A tour of the city. See the uh, exact way out there too. Oh yep. So as we get up on the north side of Eagle Creek, we can just cancel. Yep. Sounds good. We well clear of these clouds as well. Put six two in the approach. Squawk zero three two zero. Via the, the reservoir there. Eagle Creek is where I learned to fly. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I knew that. Yeah, we had a 170. We had a, owned a 172 and then a Piper Seneca 2. We flew out of there. It's a nice trip. Yeah. Yeah. Have a pretty, pretty little area there. All right, if you want to cancel, yep. go ahead and Sounds cancel. Good. And in the approach, three, nine, zero golf, Mike, we'll go ahead and cancel IFR. Zero golf, Mike, uh, thank you, cancel HRC, squawk one, two, zero, zero, have a good day. Okay, VFR, have a great day, zero golf, Mike. Okay, you want to fly? Sure. Your airplane. My airplane? It's on autopilot, so you're going to okay. have to wrestle it from the autopilot. Ready to go and cancel off here? Yeah. So did you hit the red button or the... Uh, oh, I hit the red. Okay, so yaw damper's up. off. So I turned it yeah. back on for you, just for the time being. Want we'll to stay at five for now or... No, you can do whatever you want. Okay. I would probably go ahead and start getting down. Okay. Uh, I can set this up for you. That should... Could get some kind of steer. Yeah, there you go. So now you got steering. Like to keep the speed around 200 for now, or 180? Uh, I would probably start slow and okay. just to uh, kind of help yourself. You slow to 180. Executive traffic premier 390 golf mic is 10 to the south, planning a straight end 36. As you know, it's just hard to go down and slow down, so it just kind of helps to, not yet, it just kind of helps to, uh, got to get below 200 knots for the first notch of flaps. But what I would, or you, yeah, you're back at idle, so you're fine. This is going to work out fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't head straight towards, I'd do what you're doing right now. Okay. Okay, so I'd go ahead and get one notch of flaps right now. Okay, flaps 10 coming down. And I can give you some help. I'm going to go ahead and drop okay. the gear here in just Thank a you. moment. I give you one more notch of flaps. One. Start to bring a little bit of power in if you want, because we're going to be fine on. Uh, that's a good right there for now. Newcastle air traffic, left line helicopter one four five echo Lima. It's ten to the north northwest. Uh, out of two thousand three hundred full stop Newcastle.
Looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and give you full flaps. So I can tell you're kind of mushy right now, so full flaps will help you out, help you stabilize. And your throttles are, are pretty good about where they are, you know, about 55, 60% on one. Okay, we'll get you about right. Yep, this is looking good. Go. Yep. One thousand. Fully configured for landing, so you're good to go. Thank you. Five hundred. Good tad low here. Yep. That was a good correction. Newcastle traffic, lifeline helicopter, five of Colima. Five to the north, uh, northwest, that is 2300 for full stop, Newcastle. I just let it roll all the way in because okay. there's nobody here. Okay. Go ahead and get yourself substantially slowed. So it was gusty out. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> a little right of the center line there, <laughs> but hey. We'll keep working on it. Okay, you keep taxiing in. Hey, you don't need good. my help there, right? One hour and 49 minutes. Got yourself three hours and 45 minutes of right seat jet time today. Hey, it's the best. And a landing. Station 10. It's a nice airplane. I like it. Hey P1D fans. Thanks for riding along with me today. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram at Premier One Driver. And I don't ask for money for my videos, but if you want some cool swag, you can go to my website, PremierOneDriver.com, and get yourself a cool t-shirt or hat. Thanks for watching, fly safe, we'll see you next time. <laughs>